a very quick video for you regarding capital versus labor intensive production processes. So some of the factors that a business or a company would use in deciding whether they're going to invest capital or invest labor into producing something comes down to whether it's going to be efficient or effective, more efficient and more effective uh, by investing capital or by investing labor in terms of what is it going to cost us in terms of labor, people, or investment and in capital in uh, machinery versus the number of products we can make or the number of service items we can produce as well. So here are a couple of things you need to think of. Firstly, uh, production methods in producing a product can be capital intensive and they are usually mass productive versus labor intensive which are more craft type of productions. For example, glass blowing, making beautiful glass products is normally a very labor intensive uh, production process, whereas making cardboard boxes is usually capital intensive because there are machineries that are involved in producing the boxes. Secondly, it's the relative costs of labor versus the machinery. In developing nations, often labor is cheap, so you can employ a larger number of people to do certain jobs, whereas in um, highly developed nations, usually labor costs are higher because the salaries or wages are set higher. So it's better for the business to invest into a machine to do the production and menial tasks that would normally be done by labor. So it's a decision on labor intensive versus capital intensive production processes. <clears throat> which is going to be more effective or more efficient. Secondly, the business size, if a business is large or well-established, it usually has a large amount of finance or retained earnings that it can reinvest into the machinery. Uh, also, uh, the level of personal service will dictate whether it is better to have a labor-intensive or a capital-intensive process. For example, uh, providing manicures or beauty services require personal service, a human and a human, versus uh, something such as getting a car wheel balanced or a tire replaced. Often there's machinery involved in there, not so much personal customer service because the person that changes the tire is not normally interacting with the customer but with the machinery. Uh, finally, we need to look at the customer's needs. So what do they really need? Do they need something produced fast and multiple items? Or do they need to spend time with the producer of that service or that good and have it customized? So the customer's needs often dictate whether it's going to be a labor intensive or a capital intensive process. So those are some of the factors that impact on whether it's going to be capital intensive or a labor, labor intensive. Now there are benefits and limitations which are listed in your textbook. Make sure you include those in the summary in this discussion area. Thank you.